Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my React JS course. Now we now we are learning about this JSX. Okay, so let's try to see explore little bit more in the JSX after going into the programming. Now, if you are able to see the syntax here, so this looks like something it is not a string or a HTML. So as we already discussed, this uh, this looks like the syntax looks like it is not is an HTML. Okay, so why? Because we are writing in the JS file, and also it is not a string also. Okay. So what is this one is called as this this type of syntax is called as JSX. Okay, so it is nothing but is syntax extension to the JavaScript. So React JS recommend using this syntax. So how the UI should look like. Okay, so the React JS recommends this type of UI syntax. So you can see by seeing this one, you can remind reminds you that is of a, it is of a of template language, right? So this is of a you can say you can think of this one as a template language, but it comes with the JavaScript. Okay, you need to remember it comes with the JavaScript. So this is some type, some kind of template language only as uh, Angular or Vue.js has, but it comes with the full power of the JavaScript. So you can use the full JavaScript, but in there you cannot use. So if you want to loop over and all those things, if you want to do means we cannot do. But here we can use the JavaScript full version. And now what we can do is so why we need to use this JSX. Okay, so you all everybody gets a doubt that why I need to use this JSX. So React does not require using this JSX. So React means why we need to use JSX means React doesn't use this JSX. React uses this React create element and all those things. So we will find the developers find as an helpful and also visually it looks like understandable. So that is the reason we are using this JSX. So coming on, we will be able to see the JSX importance and all those things, right? So now in the JSX, what we can do is so we can also embed the expressions in the J in the JSX also. So that means what is for example you have one name so constant channel name. I am having constant channel name is equal to I am keeping Leela web dev. So now what I can do here, I can copy. I can if I, if I want to use this one, I can directly use this channel name here. We need to use single flower bracket so in the angular view we will be using double but here we need to use this single okay this is this is a javascript we are using so here we can use directly single like this now if i try to see the output so if i go here if i try to see the output here we are able to see the see we are able to see the same output right we are not able to see any error so this is how we can also embed the expressions not only the expressions we can also add now, uh, I can also add what we can say is uh, the JavaScript expression, something like uh, mathematical operations. Also, we can do. For example, if I go here and if I do two plus two like this, so this also works uh, without any problem. This also works, right? So you can put any valid Java expressions, JavaScript expressions. Sorry, so you can put any valid JavaScript expression. And now what we can do is so as this supports javascript expressions and also what we can do is we can also write the methods also something like for example here i am having a function function get channel sorry channel name i can use like this and here i can return something like give sorry this uh, java jsx right give And I can use this channel name here, and I can directly use this power bracket get channel name directly like this. We can also use this one directly. So, for example, if I try to see, see here we are able to see the. So this is the benefit of using like this. For example, if I have something conditions like if channel name is equal to is equal to like this, I can write. So if it is Leela web dev means then display return this one or otherwise return view else part we can also return like this so for example if i try to change some text like this now if you try to see here else part we are able to see see by this one we we will be able to use this if condition the javascript if condition whatever the javascript if condition we are having we will be able to use these all the things so previously in angular or vue.js what we will be using we will be using the uh, ng if vif and if conditions like this in the template but here we are using the full power of the JavaScript 
and we are able to use this if conditions like this we will be able to use like this right see this one is very will be very easy right so with uh, instead of learning those all things so writing this javascript thing so if you are perfect in the javascript you will be able to write this all the react js code okay this is the benefit of the react js and another thing we what we need to discuss is the attributes writing the attributes so if i write if i try to add this class for this leela if we try to see the output here what will happen is you will be getting an error so we need to mention this class name this type of small small things will be existing so now if i try to represent here class name so this one will be working here so if i try to see the console and if i try to see here i'm able to apply the class here so as java what we can say as jsx is closer to the javascript rather than html it follows the most probably name of the javascript syntaxes for example if you have a tab index so what we need to do is we need to represent using the camel case letter so here in the html we can represent like this directly but in the javascript we need to implement like this camel case letters so these are these are the things small things you need to remember other than that so most of the things uh, what we can say jsx looks similar to html only so there is no need for us to learn more about this things uh, more about the other syntax and all those things so these are the things you need to keep in mind so if you are representing class means you need to implement the class name tab index and all those things if you want to mention the attributes like, like this means you need to mention it in the camel case letters these are the important things you need to note down while writing the jsx code and as you can see that so what will happen if you write these all the code automatically what what will do is the babel compiler at the end what it will do so the react will not understand these all the code so react will not able to understand these all the code react what it will do is so before going into the react the babel compiler will compile all this jsx code into the react understandable code so that is nothing but the react dot create element like this the every element will be converted into the like this react dot create element like this it will be converted so these things you need to remember so ultimately the react doesn't support does not require the jsx so re babel compiler will convert this all jsx code into the react dot create element like this syntax and it will send it to the react js okay so then then we as you can think that why need to write it in the jsx we can write it in the react dot create element right we can say a thing so as i have already discussed in the previous videos writing like this this code will be a nightmare for us it will be so much of difficult when we are writing large large complex html code so this is this is the most preferable way to write the code okay so for visual experience and also easily understandable experience for the developers we will be writing it in the jsx okay so then this is the brief introduction of the jsx so this is i think hope you understood about the jsx so jsx is nothing but what we can say is it's closer to html only whatever the html you will be writing you can write the html but here the most advantage will be this you will be able to write the full power of the javascript you will be able to utilize so for example if you want to write the if conditions and all those things you will be able to write here in the same scenario for loop for each loop these all things whatever the things map where whatever the things that are available in the what i can say in the javascript you will be able to use these all things so now you will be getting a doubt here so then what is the benefit of using jsx and all those things why can't i know these all html and all those things what is the use of the use of using this all jsx and react dot create element these all things what is this all mess what what we need to what is the use of this one all so is there any benefit of using this one so we already we already uh, discussed that this is the nothing but what it will try to create is it will try to create the virtual dom so what is the use of this virtual dom what is the benefits we will get from the virtual dom let's try to see it in the next video then you will be able to understand that there will be, then you will be able to realize that there is a good reason for using this type of syntax then you will be convinced this one convinced by this okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you